lip liners can make your lipstick, lip gloss, whatever kind of lip color you're using last longer. But I found that I needed a lip liner ever since going through menopause. I mean, what's with these vertical lines above my lip? Yeah. And right now I'm not paying the dermatologist to do anything to my lips to make them look better. So eh, I've gone to some lip liners to keep my lip color from bleeding. So I want to show you some winners and a couple, a couple eh, today so that you can know what my favorites are. Stay tuned. So one day I just happened to buy one of the NYX uh, lip liners in a color called Bed Rose and I absolutely loved it. And it was a color that wasn't too bright, it wasn't too dark, it went on and then I could put whatever lip color I wanted over it. It's a pencil, I would sharpen it. I have my little sharpener here that I've had for a long time. Now I found that with NYX, um, the display at various Altas tends to be really messy. Customers go through them and you know, make a mess of it. But I also found it at Bed Bath & Beyond, which is interesting, and it was much more organized there, and they also sold sharpeners. So I thought, well, if I like this one so much, maybe I would like some other colors. So I went a little crazy, and I bought some others. Now, they had a couple different kinds, so they had this one like this, where the color of the lip liner shows on the entire pencil, but they also have these ones where it only shows on the end. I don't know, I, they seem very similar to me. So I tried different colors and I did swatch them on my arm. So from left to right, they are Bed Rose, Pink Cantaloupe, which is more of a coral color, Timid, which is anything but Timid. It, it's actually, quite bright light pink, which is interesting. Um, high standards, sugar gloss, peekaboo neutral, and Stockholm. So um, I didn't find that I liked any of the colors as much as I liked the bed rose, which you can tell, this is the smallest one I have. It's been sharpened many times. So for example, this one called Timid, it's a light pink and it goes on, um, <laughs> almost making me look <laughs> very unprofessional. So I'll put some other lip colors on top to tone down this bright pinky white kind of color. Um, but they are, the thing is for a drugstore price, they are actually really nice and they go on creamy. So that's what I was looking for. I was looking for something that's not, here's another one. Um, this is one of the neutral ones at the end. This is Peekaboo Neutral. I was looking for something that goes on fairly creamy and not dry, because who wants to put something really, really dry in their lips? I don't. Um, but if it's too creamy, it's it's just going to bleed past the edge on my postmenopausal lips. So I didn't want that either. So I do think that this is a really good line. Um, the other thing I like about being able to sharpen my own is that I know how much product is in there because on the ones that you don't sharpen, you really don't know how much product is in there. All right, so now um, we're gonna switch from NYX to some other brands that I tried next. The first one I wanna mention I really liked a lot it's empty, <laughs> but I still kept it because I knew I was going to be doing a video. And this is the Stila, and the color that I bought is Zinfandel. It's it's kind of a pink, um, yeah. So this one, again, you know, I don't sharpen it, so I had no idea how much was in here. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing left. Um, but it was really nice. It went on creamy, it went on quickly. In the morning, I'm usually in a rush. And I put this on and then put a lip color over it. Sometimes I would just put some kind of a lip gloss over any of these instead of a lipstick. But if I know I'm gonna have a long day, I just touched my microphone, don't do that. If I know I'm gonna have a long day and not going to have a lot of time to reapply makeup until after lunch, I'll do a lip liner, then a lipstick, then a lip gloss. Now the second one, um, I actually grabbed 
an Ulta one day, Ulta brand. Um, I know this isn't high end, uh, but this was actually really, really nice. This is in the color called Raspberry. It's also automatic. So, you know, this one compares really well to those that are high end. Um, so if you just wanna try some that are automatic and don't wanna spend a lot of money, the Ulta brand would be really nice. Again, it's kind of picked over every time I go in the store. Um, so you might even wanna go online and purchase it online if you find some colors you want. Now, of course, the high end, um, the nice thing is they'll usually have testers. Now here's one that I really like. This is the Tarte, I have it in the color Boho, and this is also an automatic lip liner. This one is really nice and creamy, and when I was swatching them on my arm, um, I was remembering, oh, this one's really creamy. Oh, this one, you know, cause usually, like I said, I'm, in, I'm getting ready for work in the morning. I'm putting one of these on really fast and I'm thinking about it as I do it. Ooh, this one's a little drier. Ooh, this one's really nice and creamy. Um, so yeah, really, really nice. The next one is, I never know how to pronounce this, Pure, Pur? I gotta call it pure, I can't call it pure. So this one, I don't know what color it's in because it doesn't say. This one was a little more dry. I have it in a neutral color, kind of a medium beige. Um, so I don't reach for it as much because I know it's on the dry side and then I'm pulling on my lip to put it on. Uh, the one after that, this is also an automatic. This is a Lorac. I really do like this. This is another one that's nice and creamy. I have it in the color Duchess, and it does, um, it kind of looks like a pencil that's going to be sharpened, but once you open it, it's not. So lovely. I don't know how much product is in here. Is there this much? Is there this much? I don't know. Um, now another automatic one that I don't have anymore, I don't think I used up, but may, no, maybe I did. It was a Smashbox, and at first when I bought it, I really liked it, but it became dry really quickly. So obviously I reached for it enough because I did un end up using it all, and then it was used up and I tossed it. Um, but I haven't gone back, even though I love the Smashbox line, I haven't gone back to purchase it because I don't, you know, if it goes dry on me, I don't like putting it on. The next one is a Bare Minerals. This is one that you sharpen. This is from their Gen Nude line, and the color is Borderline. Now, um, goes on very nicely, very creamy. I bought this color because it's lighter and when I was back at the store and looking at, well, what other colors would I like to try? I don't like any of the other colors in this line. They're all dark and kind of creepy looking. So the other interesting thing is sharpening this has been fine for me. Every time I sharpen it, it sharpens nicely. It doesn't break off. But looking at the comments on this lip liner on Bare Minerals website, you'll find a lot of people giving it only one star because they said it keeps breaking off when they sharpen it, no matter what sharpener they use. So I don't know if it's a manufacturing, I would call it a manufacturing defect because if I'm not having, don't touch your microphone, if I'm not having any problem sharpening it, and some people are, yeah, that sounds like a manufacturing defect to me, so it should work with any sharpener. All right, now I'm down to my new favorite. <laughs> this is also one that can be sharpened, and this is from Urban Decay. This is their 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. I have it in a color called Rush. I am actually wearing it today, and on top of it, I almost didn't need a gloss. That's how creamy this one is, and um, the gloss, I'm using a Lorac gloss over it. Let me see. It's got kind of a pinky color to it, but you know, I can sharpen it. It sharpens very nicely. I know how much product is in here all the way down to the nib. So I know I'm going to have this for a long time. So yeah, the Urban Decay is my winner. Do you have a favorite lip liner that you like a lot? I'm also wondering if a clear lip liner would work for me as well maybe to line my lip just on the edge. Oh, ah, I almost forgot to tell you. So when I line my lips with these products, I do my entire lip. 
I don't just do the edges because on me, I don't think that looks right. So the creamier the lip liner or the lip pencil, the easier it is to fill in the whole lip. Now, some people, they go, you know, they do, they do the edges and then they go vertical, 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 because they don't want to, you know, but if it's creamy enough, it goes on just like a lipstick. So yeah, I fill in my entire lip. I don't blot it. I put on lipstick. I blot that. I might put on a second color of lipstick or just do a gloss on top. So yeah, so these are my favorites. I want to know what your favorites are. If you found a clear lip liner that works for you too, I want to know what has worked. Um, and I, somebody had said that there's a Maybelline clear lip liner, but then I couldn't find it online anymore. So I'm not sure if they're still making that or if anybody does. Um, I'm looking for a clear one that really works. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also, you can check out some other videos that you might like by clicking one of the images on the right side of your screen over there or mouse over the upper right hand corner and click the little eye and some other videos will appear that you can click and watch as well. Thanks. Bye.